So are you running your annual meeting for your company, your LLC, or any other meetings? What are you doing for keeping notes? If this is a newsflash to you, you should watch. And if not, you should still watch. So what is the required annual meeting or like what is the paperwork and stuff that LLCs need to be doing, Paul? Or, or yeah. Be, so, you know, you know the, these, you know, board minutes, keeping board minutes, I, I like to do the meetings quarterly. I, I just like to have quarterly board meetings, basically just, you know, reviewing the performance of the company budget, you know, typical, like what you would expect in, in any company, right? Just any major changes for the company. Um, it's really nothing that complicated, but it's just one of those things that nobody does, you know, just, um, passing board resolutions about, you know, we're going to switch from Bank of America to, you know, Chase Bank or something, you know, it's just like stupid stuff like that. You can just wrap it up, you know, throw it in a board meeting, you know, throw it in a, throw it in your annual minutes, you know, say that you hold quarterly, you know, it's sort of ridiculous though, if you're a single member LLC to sort of say that you had them. So really, it's really just about documenting it. So like, you know, they have these um, books out there, you can buy these corporation kits, they're like $60 on Amazon. And they literally walk you through what you need to do oh. uh, to keep good records. And, you know, we have a service that we work with where we do it for you. I don't personally do it. I, I you know, stuff like that, just, you know, organization and remembering to do things just scare, you know, little. but um, it's an important thing to do if you want to protect the integrity of your company, because if you don't do it, then you basically give in a potential creditor a pretty good argument for, you know, arguing that you're, corporation or LSD is an alter ego, that it's not really an independent, you know, thing that should be respected. And, the, and therefore, you're just giving them one more reason to basically what's called pierce the corporate veil, which means they can go after you personally for the liabilities of your company. And that's exactly why we want corporations and LLCs, because we don't want to be personally liable for the debts of our company. So if you sell hoverboards and your hoverboard burns down somebody's house and they want 30 million, you better believe they're going to probably be looking to things like your board minutes to come after you and try to hold you personally liable for those things. Now, does that mean if you have them, you're bulletproof? Absolutely not. Um, but these, again, anytime you're dealing in asset protection and you're, you're talking about protect yourself, you're trying to create sort of legal leverage. You're trying to basically put up defenses that will be useful in settlement because you really don't want to go to trial. You want the lawyers to take insurance policies. You know, you want to limit their reach. So these are ways of giving you a little bit of legal leverage. And they're very easy to do. So like I said, we have a service that does it that we offer where we can help you guys do that. I do think it's important. I don't think enough companies do it. And I don't think people really understand the risk of piercing the corporate veil and what that means. And so, you know, I, I certainly recommend you do it. You know, either with a service like ours or just go buy the book on Amazon, go buy the corporate minutes book and, and literally just follow along and start doing it. Yeah. Just a formality that helps formalize that this is a company. Yeah. Um, it, it, it's basically yeah. you can't just say file a form and then now not be liable for anything like you're starting a company. And so these are just regulations and, or just general best practices to show that, Hey, this is a company. This is not just, I filled out a form and I can go do whatever the heck I want and not can be per liable for it. Yeah, exactly. So, you know, when you think about piercing the corporate veil, I might as well cover this too. You know, that's just one of many ways you can sort of attack the corporate veil, you know, undercapitalization. Right. Corporate veil is in the next video, guys. If you want that, go to the next video.